Hey, nerds. <laughs> Hi, how's everyone doing? Turn that down a little bit. Today, I'm playing uh, AI, or I? I don't know, I think it's Japanese. Oh! Should I use a controller? In a bad headspace, but I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here too, Illithid. Illith <laughs> nerd alert, nerd on stream! It's me! I'm the nerd! I had kind of a shitty day. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Every goddamn time it scares me! <laughs> I had kind of a shitty day. Uh, like, I've just been feeling kind of sick all day. I feel better now. But, I don't know. I probably should have launched this game <laughs> before, <laughs> before starting stream to just ch test it. Should I... Uh, I'm gonna just go with keyboard and mouse, I guess. We'll see how that goes. You gonna be full screen, buddy? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I'm really jumpy today. Oh, oh, that's loud. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm sorry. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Oh, cute. Okay. <laughs> I need to make some <laughs> adjustments. Okay. Full screen. There we go. Yeah, uh, I usually don't launch my games <laughs> before I start before I start stream. Uh you know, we like to keep it real here. Real and raw. Jesus fuck, that's so loud. Allow me to assist you. Uh okay. That volume seems a lot more manageable. Skip unseen content, turn that shit off. Okay, volume looks good for that. You guys let me know if that's too loud. I think it kept it, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. Okay, I don't really know much about this game. Uh, one of my friends actually You've probably seen him here before. Mr. Johnny Boots bought this for me uh, off my Steam wish list, and I'm really curious to see what it's about. Yes, it's mystery time. So we will see. English. Yes, I don't understand <laughs> any other language. I'm really glad I made that inspect emote. It's really cute. Oh, I should turn off my lo-fi beats. Looking a little blurry. This cursor is insane. Uh, no, I don't want to practice my Nihongo, especially because I can't fucking read the characters. It's a circus. I fit in perfectly here.
a woman. Leggy. Oh, shit! She missing her fucking eyeball? All <laughs> your clown behavior on Twitter, I agree. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's gone. It's a little hard to tell. Damn, starting off strong. <gasps> Three months! That's so exciting. <laughs> Maybe she's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Illithid, for three months. That's so cool. Day one, Friday. Okay. This cursor is something else. Bloom Park, Friday, 10.54 p.m. Okay. Oh, damn, her whole front's covered in blood. During investigations, the main character, I'm assuming this is pronounced Date because it's Japanese, inf inspects scenes and collects testimony, Pro progress by examining objects and talking to people. Date's position is fixed, but you can mo move the cursor and your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye. Oh, okay. Oh, can I rebind that? Oh! Okay, file flowchart. Okay, yep, yep. Options. Hmm. Remember when people would just make the wildest cursors? I saw a whole ass Garfield as a cursor once. I remember that! I would set my cursors to, um,. Like on Tumblr, you could set your cursor. On my on uh, MySpace, you could set your cursor too, to like some sparkly shit. That was fun. <sighs> okay, well, I guess the only way for me to look around is with the arrow keys. Case files. Okay. Aiba. AI ball? Oh, it's an AI. Aibaru. Aibaru. Cute. Okay. It's a little boyo. Oh! Oh! This thing is inside my eyeball. Hacking, voice imitation. Aiba is an autonomous artificial intelligence. She usually takes the shape of an eyeball and rests in Date's left eye socket. She assists Date by gathering information, connecting to networks and databases, and using her X-ray and thermographic functions. Okay, so that's probably what was ripped out of that girl's eyeball, right? Boss! Boss is hot. Cyberpunk core, yeah, this is cool. Boss? What well, is it the Japanese word for boss? Taicho? I gotta look this up. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of the Yakuza. Yeah, boobies! Oh my god. Japanese word for... Depends on the gender and age of the person. The Japanese word for captain. Okay. Taicho. It is captain. Okay. We could just refer to her as Taicho. <laughs> 42! Sheesh! She looks young! 
Commander of Abyss, the special investigation team of the Metrop Metropolitan Police Department, likes wine, gourd dolls. Is that exact? Is that what it sounds like? Anything black? I don't think anybody likes their ex-boyfriends. Oh, she goes clubbing. Oh, oh, and she's a mommy. Boss is Date's direct super superior and longtime friend. She appears to be an easygoing optimist with a carefree attitude, but she is as cunning as a fox with a quick wit. Nice. Aiba and Boss. Boss. Appendix. Oh, there's just tips, okay. Flowchart. Oh, this is Aiba right there. You are here. Big investigation. No. Hmm. This is, it's ongoing, so. Okay. Maybe, let me try, um... Oh, sorry! Sorry for the noise. Vague Dankus Rompus. I've never actually played Danganronpa. I'm gonna see if it's a little easier with my controller, because the controls are a tiny bit clunky on keyboard and mouse. It still has the, um... Okay, I think what I have to do is save. This is a freaky save sound. And quit, because I have to, when I launch it, it has me choose whether it's keyboard and mouse or a controller. Everything I know about Dang It Ron Paul comes from a Let's Play I skimmed and Illithid. Oh, that makes sense. I just know, like, some of the memes. I know there was, like, a, um... Am I buffering? Hm. I know there was, like, a, uh... There was a... YouTuber who, um... Actually ended up being... Uh... Oh, <laughs> ended up becoming a murderer? Uh, and they were a... Is it... I don't remember her name. The the girl with the big pink hair. Gamepad. She, like, shot and killed her friend. Here we go. Junko, yeah. Uh, get this fucking cursor out of here. Load game. There are like five Danganronpas. That... What? Really? I thought <laughs> I thought there was only one. <laughs> okay. Boss. You pre be presented with choices and look. Okay, yep. Look. I call her Bossu. Taicho. Oh. Uh, I just heard my partner sneeze in the other room. Bless you! <laughs> I stopped paying attention after two. I haven't played AE or three? What's AE? Is it good, Danganronpa? Any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. <gasps> it's voice acted! Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. Oh, I wish I could have the Japanese voices on. It's an okay time. Mmm. Doesn't sound worth it then. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? Oh, 
oh, is my yellow eye the one with, um, Aiba in it? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago. Are you serious? <laughs> I have to ask everything! Your special agent, Kaname Date. Date, I was pronouncing it right. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer Abyss, the Abyss, of course. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. <laughs> I was hoping to hear you do some silly voice. <laughs> this is actually great because it'll save my voice a lot. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. It's unusual for this time of year. Oh, the bad weather we're having, huh, boss? <laughs> It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Two is better than one, but it's pretty straightforward. I liked it on the first brush, but I don't know if it'll be as good on re revisitation. Mmm, that's fair. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. We found the corpse. Oh, what a horrible thing for a beat cop to discover. This isn't their job even a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Those seem pretty important. Log will allow you to recap. Okay. Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. The twists are nice, but it's very power of friendship. Mmm. I wonder, is it like Corpse Party at all? It's supposed to be like a horror game, right? Some parts of it have aged interestingly. Oh, no. <laughs> we were just acquaintances. It's not like we were friends or anything. <laughs> Barrier. Sky. The rain is depressing. Oh, really? Okay. In the old days, you used to use yellow caution tape for this. Now I've got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Well, sometimes you could use good old-fashioned yellow tape. Okay. Cityscape. A horse from the merry-go-round. It looks like it's skewered. This is not a message from the criminal. Hi, Ipa. The park was already in this state before the crime. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Dankus Rinpa 2 released in 2012. Oh, damn. Corpse Party was really good. I, I streamed Corpse Party, and I definitely would again. It's very straightforward. Like, there aren't a ton of branching paths. I think you can get different endings, um, but I would definitely play it again. Without spoilers, some things feel weird. Ugh, yeah. With older stuff like that, it's it's hard. Especially if it's like really steeped in the culture of the time. Bench. It's a bench. Oh, wee 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 wee. Panda ride looks lonely. You know I'm gonna click on every fucking thing. Control room. Hello, Mr. Boots! Yes, it's Sami time. I'm very excited about this. A local cop. Not too good, unfortunately. Oh! Not much. Even the ads are voice acted. That's nice. Inspector. Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. <laughs> <laughs> the characters in all the Danganronpa games are fun, which is, honest to goodness, the best way I could recommend them. Mm. Yeah, I really... I like the character design a lot. I think it's very unique. It's Kagami, sir. Hi, Kagami. <laughs> Not yet, sir. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. It's my doo-doo, sir. It's... Oh, 
I can keep asking. <laughs> Okay. Horse. <laughs> Fence. Mm, you could climb that. Corpse. I should get a better look. Uh, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. Ah! Aiboru. Built into my fake eye. An eye for an eye. <laughs> Queen of verbal dueling. What did I even do? <laughs> I don't remember what I said. <laughs> you want me to use the zoom, right? Zoom. Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Check out this fun thing I can do with my eyebrows. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> I have a special vision no modes may help you obtain new information. Zoom. Corpse. Zoom. Oh, I press it. You made a duty duty joke, Joy from <laughs> Joy from Friends looking motherfucker. <laughs> this is really unfortunate. Right People eye. Dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead. Thanks, Iba. The left eye socket is vacant. The victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Oh, uh, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. That is so unlikely, my dude. Impossible. <laughs> The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. Iba knows what's up. They carved it out while she was still alive. Jeez, Dante, are you really an investigator? Correct. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. What if she just misplaced her left eye? Yeah, I just dropped it. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. I'll get contact. Oh, drop my eyeball. Can you help me find it? <laughs> Several puncture wounds, but no cuts or tears. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. Ice picks are a very um common tool for serial killers because they're very sharp and very easy to kill someone with especially in the skull what was that what was that analyzing the source of the sound sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column inside the column date use me to see through the column Utilize the X-ray mode. X-ray. Oh! Who's that? <gasps> oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up! <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I pushed him aside, ran up on the platform. Hey! I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. Grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Hey, whoever's in there, stay back. That's an interesting looking gun. Is 
Suzuki. Who the fuck is that? Huh? Murder solved, I guess. That is some hair she's got on her. Jeez. Date's got a cute design. What is happening? <laughs> Are we going into the Mind Palace? The blue hair, huh? I bet she's got pronouns too! <laughs> what is this place? Burger Mortis is usually over after six hours, especially that kind of weather. All the remaining blood in her body would, would settle in her bottom half. What is that called? It's like, there's a term for that, when the blood settles in the body. Like, if the body was laying down, uh, all of the blood would settle in the direction that they're laying because of gravity. Which would make the skin look real funky. This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? A skeleton! Where do I even start with this? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I can answer all of your queries. Alright then. Why are you dancing? Who are you? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iva? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? <laughs> oh my god! Dante, you're relentless! What are you talking about? I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. Hi, <laughs> Jane. <laughs> Welcome to whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> my consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. I have great news. Every part of this game is going to be a weird part of the stream. <laughs> I liked Iba better as a cute little bear thing. I don't like that she's a hot, naked woman. Me neither. The design's cute, but I like I like her better as a cute little bear. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. She's fucking weird, though. Like, <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I'm trying to sort out my situation, but my brain isn't cooperating. Must be because I'm sleeping right now. Sounds like we're gonna have a lot of hashtag shit on the floor moments. That was definitely a shit on the floor moment. Like I'm inside someone else's head. Why? Well, because you're dreaming. Shit's funky. Aside, do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. I like her hands. They're like um. Begin what? Transparent. Somnium scan. Activate. Oh, oh. Liver mortis. Yep, yep. That's when the blood settles. Her hair is really cool, yeah. There is a lot of things happening right now. Hmm. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. She's just got her whole puss puss out. She's an android, it doesn't matter. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Well, he's sleeping, he's a dumbass. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. I think she's wearing a suit, but the suit is almost the exact same color as her skin. Think of 
these foundations as mental blocks, or simply blocks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. I'm impressed by how the mouth tracking is. Like, <laughs> it's actually enunciating words, which is pretty neat. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. <laughs> Something about mental lock going across the whole screen was funny, like if someone asked me a hard question. <laughs> but yeah. I'm from a rep I'm from a repressed Protestant collar? Collar? And I need to take it out. Collar? <laughs> See. So I can do whatever I want with you. Culture! Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Well, I suppose that is true, but Don't fuck the bear. Alright, let's do this. Wake Date up. Sinking in the brain. <laughs> Date's dream world. In a strange and surreal dream, trust the light to wake up Date. Insomnia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Okay. Oh! Hello. Yeah, her suit, she is wearing a suit. You can see that there's a cutout on her back. So her puss puss ain't out. Pumpy pull with one crumb. <laughs> I had another slice of my pumpkin pie today. It was really good. Ugh, I love her hair. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? That's so rude. Oh, oh, this music. I like it. A door locked with a padlock. Okay. It appears all I have to do is open this door. drink of water <laughs> she just fucking fondled the door handle oh my god oh my throat <laughs> Dante this room wiggles a lot that is to be expected dreams are not bound by logic this is Dante somnium a reality built by dreams. oh my god that laugh hurt my stomach my somnium I see your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen. <laughs> okay, mommy. Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Was there a guy there? Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. Date's got a fucking Silent Hill 4, the room looking dream place. Yeah. I don't know what to tell yeah. you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. <laughs> I don't know, Date sucks at helping. He does. Now, what should I have you do? Bro. Don't forget that I have a veto. Oh, she's wearing a little dress. Yeah, it's like a little dress. Yup. <laughs> okay. Dante's a top detective. Do you not recognize it? Oh. This is an iris that blooms in 
I need to turn up the voices. Uh, turn up the voices. <laughs> I was like, geez, I wonder if they'll let me sh have a panty shot. And they did! Winter. A flower with a woman's name. <laughs> I thought that said crab. <laughs> We're gonna go full crab. Smell. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, <laughs> okay. Suction. Bravo. Marvelous. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? You were able to touch it. Correct. So I just need to keep this up? Something like that. Oh, what? <laughs> Amazing suction. <laughs> okay. switch the thorns are gone it's because she sniffed it so hard now i can activate the switch <laughs> beep a lady a woman i can't decide if anime games were a gift or a mistake this was definitely a gift this rewarding date another place you can touch i would rather be sleeping Okay. I like this groovy music. Yeah, her hair bounce is really cute. Wee 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 wee. Wasn't there a lady on the couch just a second ago? The dialogue out of context is insane. Amazing suction. A glass of wine. Investigate. A luxurious red wine, popular on the market today. However, this appears to be a much brighter red than a typical bottle. Maybe it's a full-bodied red from Burgonia. I wonder if that trivia will ever prove useful. Better to be prepared. Have a sip! <laughs> Can I have a sip? A glass of... <laughs> Take a fucking whiff, babe. Hmm. The nose is fresh yet rich. I detect smooth tannins and stone fruits. Where did you learn that from? Why would you have something like this in your dream? Even a guy like me enjoys good drinks and better company. But these social engagements never seem to turn out well for you. Oof. Stop. Don't remind me. A glass of wine. Have a sip. Leave it to me. Out of the bottle. Hey. Ah. <laughs> I feel kind of good. Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. Great. A skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. <sighs> talk to the skeleton. To the skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello. My name is Iba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Hey. Don't ignore me, stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. 
Whoa, whoa, Ivo. Back off. Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. Then my day's ruined. <laughs> what the fuck? A basket. I cannot see inside it. Where? Tap search. A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra? And a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? Stupid bony girl. Amazing suction. Have the sip. <laughs> the truth is, Alan. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's in for the occult. This is somewhat different than a cult. Maybe it's cult. Oh, I can't wear the basket? A floor lamp shaped like a rose. These are some funky op options. I'm trying to lift it up. <sighs> this game has a lot of gems in the. F it hasn't even been the first hour yet. We're already experiencing so much. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret hey. it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. A lamp. It looks. Uh, kick. I guess. <laughs> oh. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Okay. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? Oh, I don't like the unhinged look on her face. What are you, a thug? Can I? Oh, I just had to interact with it. I see. A skeleton. Hit. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hi. Yeah. What? I have a look. The wall. I can't believe she so ruthlessly killed that skeleton. Just thinking about the dead body. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? At, at, hmm, how do you pronounce that? Adipochere? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. He doesn't look like an old man. Still got all his color in his hair. Boss is sleep talking. Gun! Adiposer? Adiposer? What is Adiposer? Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. Gun! I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerator. I feel like that's a stereotype. Who did you hear that from? <laughs> It should be fine. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Ma'am? You're causing.
casting a scene. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. <laughs> Look at this hot magnum. <laughs> She's so unhinged. A door locked with a padlock. Put gun in the keyhole. Shoot. Leave it to me. There are two kinds of people in the world. Those who open doors. Just pull the trigger. <laughs> you got lucky. Not the kind of penetration you want. Yeah. A door locked with a padlock. I'm going to put the gun in hole, I guess. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. Oh my god! <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. <laughs> Seems I was key in helping this escape. <laughs> okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. Wow. I'll open it. I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> Ugh. My neck. That's a dead girl. That was the one that was on the couch. Oh. Wow. Okay. How many times do the writers want us to jerk off in the first hour? <laughs> Wow. This is a lot. Okay. Hey, bus. Nice leggies. Good morning, Date. Who sits on their desk like that? I was waiting for you. I'm gonna have a little bit of Chaco. <laughs> Ma'am! <laughs> oh no, I snorted! That was not intentional, oh no. Why is this such sexy? Because it's an anime game? <laughs> I need an adult! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat a little bit of Chaco. Okay. wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? <laughs> Sorry, it was funnier in my head. <laughs> Everyone in this game is a fucking dork! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Jade. I've been having issues with eating today. It's just been... It's so frustrating sometimes. There's a lot of random shit in here. Oh! Big catch. Okay. That's a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh, yeah? How much? 10 billion yen. I don't know how much 10 billion what is. Were you in elementary school? The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. Like you and me. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. What? Being so many crackers is not even funny. Ugh, yeah. That sucks so much. 
Christmas tree. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. She's got a lot of shit in here. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. Snowboard? Skis? Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? The nutritional Minecraft pig piggy bank is about to be opened. Mm -hmm. It is important for to have nutrients. <sighs> yep. They're all my husbands. Oh, boss. Uh -huh. I never thought I would relate to you so much. That's my grandpa's death mask. The guy had a huge face. <laughs> Public bath door curtain. What is going on? Why do you have this? Please, oh unbreakable pig, give me nutrients. So if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. This woman. Reminds me of you, boss. Matryoshka. Many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Dante, you can't just fucking roast someone like that. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. Actually, boss, there are several myths and folktales about why they're called jack-o'-lanterns, and they were also called other names like a friar's lantern or will-o'-the-wisps, and they weren't even carved with pumpkins at first. <laughs> you get to the last one, the smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. What is going on? Like it? It reminds me of you, Date. My name is Kaname. The kanji for key can be read as Kaname. I don't know my real name. I don't know anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're just dropping some lore. I don't know anything about myself past six years ago. Why are there so- why do you have so many fucking masks? A tombstone? <laughs> Ma'am? Is this- what is this? Overall uh, length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8. .8. Height of 5.35 and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Maybe the masks are a metaphor, or maybe Boss is a little morbid and likes Halloween. I think so. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This is the moment- THIS WAS THE MOMENT YOU STARTED TO WORRY ABOUT BOSS'S MENTAL HEALTH? NOW? Is this an easel? You think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack <laughs> can stretch up to 10 square feet? <laughs> She's just covering the balls. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. I can't live without coffee. I love it smooth and dark. I'm always amused by Boss's ability to make anything sound dirty. I wonder if she does it on purpose. Certainly she does. Okay, Boss, look. Hey. Remember the case you brought up yesterday? Thanks for stopping by, Jade! It's always nice to see you in chat. Have a good night. The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. Look at her design and tell me she isn't written that way. Yeah, she got her titties out. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. 
That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. Oh! I wonder if Date has a false eye because his eye was also gouged out. Like the girl in the Ferris wheel. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. She's your boss. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. That makes sense. Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police oh. Department. I mean, my name. Huh. <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> you don't know her name? I've been calling you boss for six years, so. Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from memory disorder. Yep, yep, okay. Flashbacks. What does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Huh. So, nothing to report then. Got it. Hmm. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. Hmm, yum. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Hmm. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No, she just lives with me. That makes you her legal guardian. Mizuki, <laughs> holy shit. Mizuki Okiura, the girl we found in the merry-go-round. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. Okay, in why was she case, holding the murder I'm weapon? I'm not going to get anything from her. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby, being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Shoko's ex-husband, Shoko? Shoko? Have we met a Shoko? This makes Date a certified DILF. <laughs> it does. <clears throat> Why isn't she living with her father? An old friend of mine. I wonder okay. what Renji was doing last night. Shoko's the corpse. Okay, okay. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. So, Shoko was her mother? Let me... Shoko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. So her... Either her mother or... Maybe he had a son with another person? He didn't. The only game I have ever seen that said this case, that case isn't related to this one, and that actually turned out to be true is Phoenix Wright. <laughs> no. They gotta, they gotta shove a little bit of exposition in there, you know. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him, had him verify Shoko's corpse, and naturally started asking him questions. Hmm. I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Yeah. Almost definitely. Why was she holding it? The That's her emotional Mizuki comfort ice holding. pick. The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. She was literally holding the murder weapon, my dude. I don't know what to tell you. 
Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? I wouldn't <clears throat> tell you even if my life depended on it. Oh, okay. Even if you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dom P. My lips are sealed. But why, boss? It's top secret. Classified. It was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. Give it a rest, Date. I have to know. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. That's not okay. This isn't harassment or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. <laughs> I can detect your thoughts, remember. Thank you for your input, Iva. He would fuck his boss. Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database, although it's probably nothing you don't already know. <laughs> I've come back at the wrong time. I don't think Dom P is Dominatrix P. We would all fuck his boss. I, yes, 100%. Well, maybe not. I love that style of voice that she has. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Has a shirt that's suction cupped to her boobies. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had oh. one child together. A daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Mizuki is their daughter. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. They really vacuum sealed her tits, poor Shoko, yeah. <laughs> I should also give you this. The balls, the balls. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? <sighs> Since you don't have a cell phone. What year is this? Just promise me you'll let this go, okay? It's a delicate issue, even more delicate than my patience. So drop it. That's an order. Understood? Okay. The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. Payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. I would say so. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. They may have even been the killer. Eh? What the fuck? Hello? No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. <laughs> wow. Well, still. Hey, I sight myself. Who are you? My name is Konami Dante. <laughs> I work as a special agent for the investigation squad. <laughs> Said MPD. You, you're a handsome looking man. Oh, no, stop it. Are you okay, <laughs> Dante? Perhaps it's time for his medication. Hello, me. Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Eh, just a little trivia for you. I'm full of useful information. My dude. Okay. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Cute. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? 
I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? At least he knows his Chinese demographics. Yep. Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. <laughs> I gotta ask all the options. I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? Gotta adjust my mic a little bit. One! Adjust my body and my seat. One day I got called into the control room and pu pewter. The engineer showed it to me. Oh, is it flashback time? The official title Whoa! is AI Ball. Wow, you have a very Pokemon trainer-esque outfit. I want to chew on Iba. She does look like a gummy bear. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. Okay, fucking Pokemon Aether Foundation villain looking motherfucker. <laughs> she will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Okay, bud. Iba's been living in my head ever since. Okay. Artificial nerve to his brain. Okay. Why did you come out? For okay, real. Really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I want to nuggy that guy. <laughs> yeah. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? Who reported the crime? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. Okay. So you found a way into that database. This music is so... makes this feel even more surreal. That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. I bet it's our drinking buddy. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, oh. who was it? Oda Matsushita? Matsushita, Ota. 24 years old. Male. 24? I have marked his address on the map. That looks like a, a, a whole ass child. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. That's a whole ass fucking child. Okay, map. Open up the map and pick a destination. Okay. I think it's supposed to get a warrant to access that kind of data. I don't know. No. Uh, I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> Rude. Oops. Is this his family's diner? That child's family's diner? The art style reminds me a lot of Persona. Persona... I think I played Persona... Which persona is it that has the uh, gay guy in it? Because it's that one. I never finished it, but it was really fun. Oh, hello. I was just thinking that, yeah. I'm sorry, we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. Oh, also, Fire Emblem. This This guy looks like the playable character in Fire Emblem Awakening, I think? I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. She's drawn in a completely different style. Oh, heavens no! I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Do you think her shirt says hipster? Oh girl, which persona has that gay guy is such a loaded question. <laughs> the one that whose level is I think in a bathhouse? And he's like very poorly shielded as being gay. She looks like a Pokemon NPC, she does. Calm down, ma'am. 
I'm just here to ask some questions. Ma'am, those glasses with that shirt and that hat, that ain't it. And you're Ota's... His mother. She's holding a floral knife. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. Good idea. She, she really doesn't have any fashion sense. She's so small! Okay. That's just the calendar. Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Ah. Oh. Looks like someone threw her through a clearance sale at JCPenney. Right? Yeah, it does. She's cute. You have zero standards, Konami Date. Horny. Okay. Uh, there, now I can see the questions easier. Tell me about your restaurant. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. Huh? Why is the knife glinting? Something is engraved on the handle. Okay. Oh, about 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started. But back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. About the weather. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. That boy. He's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists <laughs> and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Weebs? Ota wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. That boy looks like he's getting a starter Pokemon. That's what I was thinking. I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Huh. <sighs> Ota is only two letter shorts of otaku. Mmm. What? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. I bet it's like an idol girl. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Yes. That good for nothing. Oh, she is an idol. Group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not Witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the Witch. All right, I'm getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. 
call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? Ma'am. He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. You can abandon this line of questioning. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of Wind's disposal codes. Your boy be simping for Twitch streamers? Yeah, I'm a witch. What about me? Uh, where is the box that she was talking about? Oh, here we go. Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. <laughs> she forces Oda to buy them. I know it. Okay. Slip. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description reads Solid Model. Date. There's a paper. Why not try? I already did that. We should look and use the X-ray mode. Okay, I just had to trigger it. It's his Warhammer models. Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. What was that? Make out the engravings on her knife. Oh, a kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It's a murder weapon. It means the world to me. Date, I found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset <laughs> a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemniscate. Lemniscate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemniscate. Renju owns that company. Oh! Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemniscate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Oda goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. <laughs> the knife thing is cute, yeah. It is suspicious that the dead woman's husband owns the talent agency that Ota hangs out at. Hmm. Sus. Sus. I'm always working on a Saturday. I guess crab don't stop. That's him? Correct. Hey, boy. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? You are not 24 years old. I'm from the MPD. The police? <gasps> the police? Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. 
Damn it. <laughs> Promotional videos of the agency's talent. Nothing dirty. This isn't that kind of company. Okay, bud. How to take a girl home in just two minutes. I think I'll take a look at that. Bro! Put the penis away and focus on the investigation, please. What is that supposed to be? I do not know. It's abstract. That's the whole fucking point. A receptionist with huge breasts. I'm talking big gahungalungas, huge badonkalongs. Surely this isn't that type of company. Yeah. Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Is he writing a fan fiction? No. I'm kind of busy right now. Okay, bro. Last night. His shirt is missing. <laughs> Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Oto, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Click on the receptionist multiple times. Ooh, okay. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process... He's a nerd! No person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hate the most. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Those are... <laughs> this reception is with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. <laughs> Fuck yeah, what a A cab. Breasts. There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Oh my god. Okay. How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? Punch him. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. And what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Are you gonna become a hot anime girl? Okay. Plant. Date, look! Ants! Look at them go! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. If something is green, it means there's more dialogue. Once it's gray, it's done. Oh! Oh! That's good to know. Okay. So far, a sofa. It's a sofa. Okay. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. You gotta take your meds, dude. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Porn. Does Tessa refer to Aset? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! He's an incel! That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Aset is Tessa backwards, yeah. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. He's starting what? online fights with himself? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Two witter? Nah, uh, uh, 
What are you talking about? I should kick him. You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. He needs something else to do. He does. He needs hobbies. <sighs> Fine. Watch some porn, my dude. Do something else. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Oh my god. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Just don't do it again, okay? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. He's got such a shit-eating grin. Dude needs to stop Tessa simping. Is recording yeah. a podcast today. Also, he's creepy. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... Why has your white shirt disappeared? You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone! Uh, this guy... <laughs> okay, okay! Let's talk! <laughs> Just... Shh. Hey, uh, this guy's a fucking simp! He, he's an incel! He's a really big loser! I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. That's the daughter. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. She's just a friend. Yes, yeah, she better be. Because she's a child. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Friendship? Anyway... I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hmm. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your <laughs> bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I gotta put some chapsticks on. Chaps he is a dweeb. He is a dweeb. He writes light novels. He simps for a fucking idol. Oh my god, my lips are so chapped. <laughs> Mizuki's so cute. Her hair is adorable. I want to punch him. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. I write fanfiction on AO3. <laughs> So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From Cringe. Sixth grader. <laughs> She's surprisingly insightful. You're 24 years old, and you have a sixth grader review your writing. My dude. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. Yeah, okay, bud. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. Oh, that's funny because in Japan, uh, Line is a popular messaging application for smartphones and, P and, and PCs. Like, people don't ask each other for their phone numbers in Japan. They ask you for your line account. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but 
It said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Hmm. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Being an incel and a cringe lord. You left a 12 year old girl by herself? I didn't right mean next to. to her murdered mother? I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. Oh my god, I hate See, him. I knew you would make fun of me. Yeah, who wouldn't? This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? Because you were afraid of looking stupid? Who has I got this face now, big dumbass? Oh my god, I hate you this kid. You didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me... A cringe lord? Her roommate would kill her. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> I tried using my cell phone at first. My heart was pounding, and I was scared, and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Otis' phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The mm. phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Or he's lying. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Tessa! Oh, she's cute! She's got tiny ass feet. And you are? Mr. Date from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! Oh no, she's cute. Is that what he's thinking? I feel sort of bad for him. That was probably the first dead Dante, body he saw. <laughs> but he was the adult in the situation and needed to step up. Yeah, I, I can. It's a very realistic thing to do, but he needed Is to step up. No, nothing. Cute girl, cute girl, cute girl, cute girl. <laughs> Look. Something wrong. A quiet ass. Let me confirm something. You're A set, right? <laughs> Let's play a game. Shadows. Um, thread, silhouette, A set. What? Fears. Uh, upset, regret, A set. Water. Wet sweat ASAP. This girl's theme is grating. She's got a bad case of twisted shoujo legs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yay! ASAP, you bet! The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant <laughs> behavior. We should leave. You I look. aren't even blinking. Stare. Look. Come on, I'm shy. You're embarrassing. Look. Oh, are you are you a fan of mine? Uh, how old are you? I turned 18 this year. Serious e-girl energy. Yeah. Oh my god. She is way too young for you, my dude. You in high school. Date, you cannot. Yep. Date. I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. She's drawn completely different to Ota, yeah. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make him move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move <laughs> on me? 
<laughs> oh, don't go to hell. Relationship? Her like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. <sighs> Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Stop, you're making me blush. This guy. I hate him too, Date. Uh, should I expose him? What do you guys think? Should I expose him for suck puppeting those accounts? Should I be evil? I mean, he's a loser, but I think that would kind of ruin his life. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, eat some chocolate. Come on. It's stuck in the package. Give yourself a fun. <laughs> I don't think I'll expose him. Mizuki Okira? <laughs> For Ota. Yeah, I am. Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter. So, we hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically. Hmm. She doesn't tell me about her personal life. Maybe so, you're a bad Zuki guardian. Here to hang out sometimes. You don't even know and you live with her? Okay, now I'm getting a little creeped out. You can stop staring now. Hmm. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute! Ugh. So cute that I can't take it! Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully... familiar with her. I can't help it! Her loving aura is in the air! When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? Hmm... Oh... Um, I heard about it. Give yourself a fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is an appropriate sound bite for her for him. I think Date is wrapped up in his own world a lot of the time. It seems like it. Yeah, he's a very self-centered person. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park? He told me. Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. Mm -hmm. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. Hmm. Literally, is like... Babe, babe, new dead body dropped. <laughs> you know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Hmm. That's kind of suspicious. More of a gawk or an enraptured gaze. Do I have to talk? Ugh. Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Two Winner. Wait! <laughs> Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. <laughs> okay, so I don't have to out him. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? 
Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. Uh, no. You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto is telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. I can give Date a little break from mental trauma and amnesia, but geez, yeah. It must have been some kind of twisted message. <sighs> I don't want to bring the e-girl with. Oto, take a video. Huh? Just do it. Mr. Date! Please, Mr. Date! You can't leave me! What? I can't imagine life without you! What are you doing? Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah! Blackmail. Look at those tits, though, on the receptionist. She's conniving. She's got more brain power than I thought. Woo! Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... <sighs> I told you, I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. I hate her theme so much, it is really annoying. Dante. A thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Hmm. Oh, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Huh. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Oh my fucking god, you're a huh? huge nerd. Okay. <sighs> Okay, okay. I hope we don't have to hear her theme anymore. God damn. I love a girl boss, but she is annoying. Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? Famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you. I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Am I an idol? <laughs> Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. Ah, Minecraft. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. It's kind of sick of her to want to go to the scene of a crime because it's popular and we're going to clout. But again, that's not a new phenomenon for humans yet. Minecraft streamer, she's a Minecraft streamer! What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Hmm. Well, at first, all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Do you think I'll get offers from agencies? <laughs> huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Ah, what's that called? Uh. What's that called when you take advantage of something because of your position? Nepotism! Nepotism! <laughs> is this, is it me? Am I the annoying idol girl? Yeah. I hope not. So I asked him for advice one day. 
You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office. And he hooked me up. Hmm. Why do you ask? You two are very close, for an idol and a fan. Ota is... special. He really is like... a hero to me. Hero, huh? <sighs> sure. We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. That's kind of a red flag. Questions. Questions. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But you are a cop, right? Mitsuki's like 12. Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. You bitch! Whoa, whoa hold up now. Red flap alert. <laughs> well then, tell me! You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Excuse me? What? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. Huh? <laughs> just kidding! I feel like you're not just kidding. You're not kidding. I hope so. Bitch, you're not kidding. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. Ma'am, you're not lying. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigations. <laughs> Advanced Brain! The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Why an Egyptian goddess? Abyss D's nuts! <laughs> Got him! By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris Sagan. Okay. I know, weird, right? I really... Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, mm -hmm. fill it with fruit. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Advanced brain is what you get from clearing boss's secret route. <laughs> no, it's nothing. Do we know her? Intrigue. Mystery. Excuse me. You Konami Date. That's right. And the girl? Uh, advanced brain is what I was supposed to get from college. <laughs> She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. <laughs> We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Yep, yep. They didn't leave the body here, did they? It's not still here, right? Okay. Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed onto the scene. This isn't a different spot. A black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. 
Don't get wrong, Bo. younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. Dangus Ronpus reference? Hmm, I don't know. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. Oh. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the Nobody area. should be here. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There are still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. What? Are they... okay? It is, in fact, a Spike Chunsoft game. It is! It is! Ah! I don't know. Did they make Danganronpa? But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. They published it? Ah! Oh. Oh, that's interesting. That's cute. I love it when they put details from other games in things like that. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? <laughs> he looks so irritated. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here. Mm. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But <sighs> do you have any proof? I do. Well, let's hear it. The horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? She's just really into Egyptian gods. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. The eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry in the this Illuminati. This is conspiracy logic, it is. Starting to see the picture? Not really. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she in front of my eyes? <laughs> I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth... He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Hmm. Tinazuki? She probably took it out because her mom died. Horse. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. 
Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. She was killed somewhere else. Agreed. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either. That must mean... She was killed somewhere else. I've seen true crime shit, I know. Is he not gonna finish his fucking sentence? She's probably hiding because she was scared. Oh, come on! Just a little longer. No, I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Huh, can we ditch her already? Hey, you all right? Are you okay? Morning sickness. She's pregnant? What? I'm kidding. It's not like I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? You She's light. Just by lifting me? Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. She's 18, my dude. You better not be thinking impure thoughts, my dude. Date, you thinking impure thoughts? Get those out of your brain. Get them out of your brain. She is she is down bad. Oh, uh, horrible. Shame. Oh, you should worry about me more. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? <laughs> Date likes Milves? What? I would put it right back where it came from. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. Wait. Seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. Oh. Plural of the <laughs> plural of mill. <laughs> it is unlikely that heat would be a factor. 70 degrees is a nice okay. temperature. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D-cups. Excuse me? Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. Well... That's nice. <laughs> but if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now. <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. This girl is not okay. She she's not she's very disturbed. She needs help. Where are her parents? <laughs> You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already. Is this your house? He looks like that kind of voice shouldn't come out of him. Like it should be more of a um, Ikemen voice. I said my goodbyes and turned to leave, but out of the corner of my eye, who's that? Is our mom? Oh, who is this, Iris? She did say she has a mom, yeah. Ma'am? Ma'am? I felt my body freeze because that woman, she's 
the dead one in your dream. I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. As I stood there, stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. She's cute. You, you're... Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date, from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris. <laughs> oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, you're a grown-ass man. Why did you come home with my daughter? <laughs> okay. What kind of tea is it? Elementary workbooks. One in the middle is different. Osagami Sumo Wrestler Directory. Is she an elementary school teacher? This is a nice little house. Oh, it's cute. You are beyond perverted. He just said, I wonder what the shoes smell hey, like. These thoughts are private, okay? Oh, he's got a foot fetish. Dante's got a foot fetish. You guys? Is this a um Evangelion reference? I'm not the one. <laughs> I don't have a foot fetish. Fucking psychopath. I guess, well, it doesn't mean you're a psychopath, I guess, but... That's a nice lamp. Oh. In the dream? Hold on. This is the house. Oh my gosh, I really gotta go into my auto mod and... <laughs> say that fetish is an okay word to say. This is the house that was in his dream. Except this lamp was a rose. Dining table. We could always sit here and ask the spirits what they think. It's not a divining <laughs> table. Cute. Okay. I didn't notice until you did, yeah! Because I was like, that lamp and that basket are, look really familiar. You look chipper. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> the flowers. They're winter... Iris. Winter irises, right? An iris? I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. She's becoming a lot less annoying as time goes on. Thanks to you, I feel as tough as a lion. Oh no, I, I skipped the RAR. Fuck! How am I supposed to react to that? I feel as tough as a lion. RAR! <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. Iris was hinting about the flowers blooming behind her. Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. The rar was cute. <laughs> Rire! Oh, geez, sorry, bonked my desk. Are you left-handed? Oh, uh, Mom used to be right-handed. 
But now... Hmm... It locked up on me. Ah, I see. Since I was born. And Mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. Yeah, something happened. I wonder if the Yakuza looking guy we saw in our dream is like her partner and like hurt her or something. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was, well, uh, I don't know. Huh? Hmm. I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. Ah! <laughs> That's how old my mom was when she had me. What about your husband? I don't have one. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. A single mother. Yes. That's hard. I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. Ha! <laughs> Detective. A teacher. Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. You are a special type of person, ma'am. <laughs> By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. <laughs> oh, I should look. Look. I saw her in my dream last night. Mm -hmm. No, that's impossible. Do you know me? Oh, uh, sorry for the strange question. It just feels like we've met before. No. This is the first time we've met. Of course. Her name is still green. I think it might be just because of this. Yes, I do. Respect to single mothers. It's hard to raise a child. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I only met her twice. No, I mean, I don't know from experience. I would, I don't think I, I may never have children because, oh boy, they're expensive. And also a lot of fucking work. I can really take care of myself, you know? Once at Renju's wedding and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? No reason. Goodbye. Well. I think it's time for me to be heading home. I stood and headed for the door. Iris and Hitomi stood politely. Mr. Date, we'll see each other again, right? Iris is Irisu. Irisu, probably, in Japanese. It's an interesting name for a Japanese person to have. You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate after all. What? Ah! Anyway, be seeing you. That's nice. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Well, I should head home. All right. Take care, Date. Double check their family name in the file sometime. Hmm. It's easy to forget. Have you guys seen that video of the little girl? She breaks like a board with her foot and the guy goes to f like high five her, but she doesn't have any arms. And then he goes for a fist bump and it it's exactly. just a whole bunch Let's of fucking the shit. Of the case. Double check their family name in the files. Iris, Sagan. Saga? S Saga?
<sighs> you got me. That was really fun. <laughs> that was really good. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't suspect that at all. I was like, oh, he's played this game before. He'll know what I'm... <laughs> oh, you, you fucking got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a very unflattering angle of you, sir. Myself. Allow me to introduce myself. Hi. My name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Perhaps he's had too much medication. He's just a dingus. Don't push yourself, Date. No. I'm fine, Tate. You do not appear to be <laughs> fine. No, you certainly do not. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. I Spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I win. I will terminate you. <laughs> okay. Ivo's fitted into the center of the wheel. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job, if there's even the slightest possibility. Hmm. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Mm. Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. Oh my god. Nerd. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. Hmm. Oh, she's charging in the steering wheel. The corpse was found. This makes it clear that the killer had no mm -hmm. intention of hiding their crime. Mm -hmm. Rather, it appears as though a yeah. perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. A lot of murderers do. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Well, she probably took it out because she was like... Could she have taken the eye? It's in my mom. Aiba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. Okay. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Request to come to Bloom Park. They discover the corpse at nine. Took them 25 minutes to show up. So she was in that column for a long time. Given the lack of, I don't remember how to pronounce that word, and other bloating on the corpse, it's unlikely her corpse was in the wet weather for very long. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. But I also wonder if they would show bloating like that in a game like this. Probably it, it's the not culprit themselves. Like pretty, you know? But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the mm. suspect used her friend's phone. Aiba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Something strange? 
corpse decomp doesn't lend itself to pretty anime style. Yeah, it's pretty hideous. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. Air dropped. Air dropped. Teleported. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Hey, Taicho. Mizuki. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I will not Google that word. Thank you for <laughs> the warning, Cetra. I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. Ugh, what a creep. That's not permission, it's blackmail. I think that's fine. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sink with her. Sink? Oh, what? Ah, it's Pokemon Trainer, dude. She's only 12. You sure this is okay? Oh, <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. I hate the way you his mouth have moves. Nothing to worry about. Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. Hey, Pewter. About Iba. Could you do something about her personality? Do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike. If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. <laughs> <laughs> so you were listening, huh? Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... Maybe he's been murdered. Know. You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? It makes sense that she's not talking. She experienced a traumatic event. <gasps> oh. If we don't do it now, then yeah. when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Mm -hmm. Murdered would be the only reason a father wouldn't be there for his daughter. It is suspicious that she is living with Date. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. So I wonder what's going on there. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. You're the only one who can. Okay. Okay. Hmm. We are ready to begin. All the adults in her life keep seeming to fail her. Yeah. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. I feel bad for her. Poor little Mizuki. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's <laughs> true that she can't speak to you, but she can hear you. 
Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. No shit, she's hooked up to a strange there's machine. No, pain, mm -hmm. no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnium. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. Date is not great at assuring. No, he is not. Azuki, I've never told you this, but... I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Advanced Squad. Brain. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. Oh, that line is not voiced. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries, or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? Get some ice cream. Let's go get some of that stew you like. Hey, remember when we went last time? You were laughing about how it looked like throw up? The machine that goes inside your head was the go-to solution instead of therapy. But it tasted so good, you were devouring it. You kept saying it looked awful, but you loved it. Do you not have a more heartwarming story, or...? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Date, the heart rate is steadying. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature. New feature? You'll learn more when you see it. Sure. Okay. Date, you ready? Okay. Ready anytime. Remember, Date. You have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Oh. Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. That's... I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. Do I have to do this in under six minutes? We're counting on you. Well then, let's begin. Okay. Hi, shrimp. <laughs> ah, fuck. Shrimp girl again. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Is this Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed, so it only appears as though time has stopped. 
Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do Ooh. with relativity, right? Is this persona? <laughs> Two people can experience time differently depending on space time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six, but with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's okay. Get Somnium scan. Activate. <laughs> it's time for the anime shit. <laughs> okay. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Oh, God. Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. This is horrible. Iba, the speaker over there. Shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. Okay. Time is expended whenever Aiba is moving or performing an action. Oh boy. Okay. An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Hmm. Push in. Date, are you certain? Will this- I don't know. Just try- It might oh, raise the speaker really high? No good, huh? Mizuki is still a child. The solution may be simpler than you think. Simple, maybe. But this is a dream. Not everything goes how you expect. Hmm, pull it out. Shoko's photograph. Right. No. Because that's what she did, I guess. Oh! That's what I was trying to do by pushing it in. It keeps going. What is this? It's timed. I, I good luck, I know I would choke. Something yeah. Happened. Became a lightning rod. Mm -hmm, it looks like we mm -hmm. can get to the Our next step must to remove the birdcage. How the fuck are we gonna do that? Date, we got a timey. A timey? Time induction matter in encephalon. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnia. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Get I would like to slow down. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Big bird cage. An enormous bird lift can i lift it understood ah! i knew it wouldn't work well, i just figured i'd give it a shot you know Agent this Dante, appears to be the microphone for the speaker uh shout ah! <laughs> stop it Stop it already! Okay. Um. Uh, how do I use the timies? Control room. The control room of the merry go. Open. What is your plan once I am inside? To turn off the it carousel? Is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Hello. I didn't expect to see this inside. 
I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. Uh How do I use the How do I use the tiny? Uh <laughs> Bumper buttons when you have a choice of actions. A to confirm usage. Bumper buttons. Bumper buttons when you have a choice of actions. Hmm. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Oh, here. I see. I see what you mean. Okay. Uh, use. Lift. All right, leave it to me. It is heavier than it looks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. Retry will allow you to return through save point just after unlocking a mental lock. You only have three retries. Okay. Torn paper. There are torn pieces of paper. Piece together. Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. <laughs> Done. But. There's no penalty for restarting or retrying. Oh, okay. That's good. You were able to get out? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One day I came home to find that photo torn up in the trash can. When I asked Mizuki about it, she started to cry. I don't know why she tore up that photo, but whatever her reason, it seems like she regrets it. Since we repaired the photo insomnium, the bird cage. Mizuki must be having a hard time. But the cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses <laughs> spinning at hurricane speeds? You can do it if you try a little. Oh my god. No, you can't. All right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. I know where I need to go. The panda head is... Uh, make time a fourth. Stop. Why? Maybe it's like the speaker before. Mm. Ha -ha! I see. These were also linked. That's right. Let's go to her. Got it. If you choose the correct answer as your final action, you can actually exceed the time limit. Even if it seems like you don't have a time left, a lot of time left, don't give up. You might be able to do it. Okay. It's Mizuki. Uh Hmm Hug her Mizuki <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's okay Let it out She's only 12, yeah. Can you imagine how difficult? 
see your mother like fucking cut up and an ice pick stuck in her eye. We did it! That went well! I, would, I thought I would panic because <laughs> there was a time limit. Are you okay? Date. I did it, Goku. She can talk. Looks like she can talk again. <laughs> he was nervous. <laughs> it's okay. We're here. After she'd calmed down, I asked her a few questions. I asked her about last night, about the Nile message, about Ota, and about Shoko. I know that after Ota ran off, something must have happened that made... to make Mizuki want to hide. She seems to be doing okay, but she's got that gloomy look in her eyes. Yeah. She saw what no kid should ever have to see. It'll take a while for her to get back to normal. She may never be back to normal. How are you doing? I told you I'm fine. So annoying. I see. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. <laughs> she's a brat. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. I'm fine now, but I didn't forget your promise. A promise? The stew! Stew? You said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. Mm. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. Maybe we should have stayed in her head. <laughs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. I think she does. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. <laughs> yeah, Date is like, wah, 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 you have to tell me! <laughs> he needs to be a little bit less aggressive. Say Mizuki. Who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Hmm. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone in the corner, past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Hmm. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iba. 
The boss has extraordinary perception. <laughs> I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Gee, boss, you got some big old titalongs on ya. Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was... it was... it was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... the only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. This voice actress is really impressive. I wish more female characters had pants. <laughs> yeah, same. So, you panicked and pulled it out? Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? And Gustav is actually crazy good. Yeah, it's really good. I'm impressed. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Law shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Hmm. How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. I don't think it's wrong to ask if you know. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. And she approaches with the gentleness the witness requires. Mm-hmm. She says thank you, and she uses a calm voice. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? <laughs> I invented it. Proud anyway, of you. We know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Um... Okay. There we go. Aiba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. That was a weird a moment of silence. To put it more simply, Aiba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of Iba's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Iba's functions are transferred into somnium. So that's why somnium Iba is so dumb. Don't call me dumb. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Pewter, when we were in somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iva's idea. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. What well, part of that was my taste? I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Pewter, Iva's broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Perhaps Iva admires the human form. It's not that. It was just... A little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? Because you're a horny bastard. Not enough feet. <laughs> In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first. Yeah, however, yeah, okay. The circumstances, mm -hmm. the sinker dives in. Yep. But this dream is experienced as an observer. They really the like to over explain things. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I could infer that. Pewter, who do you think the culprit is? Designed to your taste with a big old dobot honk rose. Gotta side with my man's Dante here. That's what I was thinking. She's barely got any Google Hongalons. And he was like, there's breasts behind the counter. <laughs> well, let's see. Perhaps. What? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
You are extremely unhelpful, sir. No, oh, that. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into a subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki saw me and couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. These games love the over-explain. There's a scene in Danganronpa 2 where they over-explain the concept and function of a door. <laughs> you saw some strange things in Somnium. Mm -hmm. That event you experienced. Dream yeah, yeah, yeah. Skill. We know what dreams are. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a sp but mm -hmm, she didn't get it. Yeah. Maybe there's something with Date. Could you? There might be more. Oh, that's the wrong button. Go! I think I might end stream here. This is a good place to stop. When I returned to the scene, I brought Mizuki with me. Okay. Somewhere around here, right? Yep. Okay, uh, save. Gotta save, gotta save. Go to the scene of the crime that matches the place you saw the figure in Mizuki's dream. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm really liking this game so far. It's a lot more unhinged than I thought it would be, uh, which is fun. It, it has been it has been a wild ride. Uh I definitely did not expect... <laughs> I did not expect what we've been seeing. Uh, but it's cool. I like it. Thank you, Mr. Boots, for getting this game for me. I'm having a great time. I will definitely be playing more of it. Um, yeah, I think I'll end stream here. I'll run an ad and then we'll raid someone. Uh, huge breast behind the counter. Huge breasts. Breasts. <laughs> Big old boobies! Am I buffering for you guys? I hope not. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'm playing another mystery game. Uh, it is the second part of the Payne's Creek Killings which is super cool, very investigative. Highly recommend watching that stream. You might be a little lost, but I'll try to summarize when I start stream. I gl I'm glad you guys could be here for it too. Thanks, Cetra, for stopping by. It's always nice to see you in chat. Uh, and yeah, all right. Well, uh, I'm gonna end it here. Stick around if you wanna participate in the raid and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.